the pro-freedom residents and voters of Colchester have decided to rise up against their local government and their net zero plans to implement 15-minute cities. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about the uh, local and uh, essentially smaller uh, protests and movements that we are now seeing up and down this country. We've already discussed what's been going on in Kent, in Oxfordshire, when it comes to local authorities pushing ahead with their net zero uh, plans and their utopian future, especially when it comes to 15-minute cities. Uh, for those of you, if you, in case you haven't caught up with the idea of 15-minute cities, we're going to talk about it in a second. But we have a video of a number of local residents going to a council meeting in Colchester to show their opposition after being refused to be heard by the local members. Um, okay, so James Peters, anyone? Uh, so I've got Councillor Gocher, Councillor Gocher, so Councillor Gocher. Thank you, Chair, uh, and uh, thank you uh, very much for the... Uh, presentation uh, which is uh... what i love is that uh, politicians in general whether they are members of parliament in westminster or local council members uh, they considering their salaries are paid by the taxpayers and they get their jobs via the voters the electorate we see it so many times in the so-called Western democracies, that they completely ignore the will of the people. They don't even want to, uh, them to be heard. That's the main thing. You know, you don't really have to completely make U-turns. Simply start the discussion, start the debate. Maybe you are right. Maybe we are wrong. Just try to have some sort of discussion, actual investigation into these ideas. But no, everything has to be shut down. So, uh, when it comes to these areas, 15-minute cities, the way of the future so in the local papers they're talking about uh, these ideas uh, so essentially they're going to put people in boxes and in different district zones like hunger games <laughs> obviously that's an exaggeration and not initially but essentially they're, they're going to make it so difficult for you to travel between places especially if you have a car you will be charged a penalty if you leave your district your box and go somewhere else and they want to make it so easy that everything that you need will be within 15 minutes so you just walk within 15 minutes from your home, you can go to school, you can go to work, you go to your supermarket, and you think that's going to make things easier. Yes, putting uh, humans into cages. That's lovely. So this nearest, um, local paper said, a French Colombian scientist, Carlos M. Moreno, first inspired the idea in 2016. Great. A socialist. The premise of a 15-minute city is to have a facilities in a city accessible in no more than 15 minutes, either by walking or cycling. Morono int introduced the 15-minute city concept as a way to ensure that urban residents can fulfill six essential functions within a 15-minute walk or bike from their dwellings, uh, living, working, uh, co commerce, and healthcare, education, and entertainment. Yeah, so you don't have to leave your tiny, tiny 15-minute neighborhood anymore. You don't need to go on holiday. You don't need to. <laughs> you don't need to go uh, to a different supermarket in case you know. What What if your shop runs out? Runs out of milk? I, I don't understand the concept. <laughs> it just makes no sense. Every um, Hollywood movie that we've seen in in the past about the future, they always sold it as a utopian. It always ends up being dystopian. It makes absolutely no sense. You have to fight back, and you have to fight back now. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.